days ago, I was talking with someone on the IRC channel, um, their name was Woodsy, I believe, uh, so Woodsy, if you're watching, um, you didn't, I'm not sure if you quite understood what we were talking about in the IRC chat room. Basically, Woodsy was trying to get uh, VLC to stream his music for him, uh, which I have done videos on, is pretty simple, but he was doing it with uh, a server that had no uh, uh, GUI interface to it, and uh, by default, even if you're running stuff in the background, it seems like VLC wants to have X running or some sort of display manager. Um, uh, reading quickly, it doesn't seem like it has to be. I mean, you can definitely get VLC running completely on a server, a headless server. Um, but talking to him more, I think that uh, that necessarily, I think uh, that VLC streaming wasn't necessarily, and once again, VLC streaming from the server. Um, was not the best option for what he was doing. I, I think streaming like that's great if you're running some sort of radio station, uh, streaming video, live video or something, uh, where you have a lot of people watching and you want everyone to see the same thing at the same time. But he was just trying to um, listen to his playlist on his server. Um, in which case, I don't think VLC uh, in that way uh, as a server application is necessarily the best option. It definitely is an option and would work. Uh, he wanted it because I guess VLC has some sort of remote control that he can adjust the streaming, skip songs and stuff. Um, but my opinion, I think a simpler solution uh, and give you more flexibility would just to be start up a uh, um, a web server, whether it be Apache or some other lighter uh, HTML service or uh, web server if you needed um, and just put your music in a folder that that is shared on that web server and uh, and then you know point whatever media player you're already using at it uh, and pretty much all modern media players can stream music from a web server he was concerned that he wouldn't be able to skip songs, fast forward songs, and, and yes, you can. Um, so, uh, surprise tutorial on Wednesday. I know I don't usually tutorials on tutorials on Wednesday, but I thought that this would be a good chance to do this. So let's jump right in. I already have Apache running on my machine because it's as, as simple as apt-get install Apache 2 at the current time, or whatever web server you prefer. There's plenty of them in most package managers, uh, most for most distros. Uh, install it, and uh, here we go into the tutorial. Okay, uh, so this tutorial is going to help Woodsy, uh, the user, the viewer, uh, with his streaming his music. So, real quick here, I have got uh, my music thrown onto my server in the other room. Uh, it's just in a folder, uh, nothing special about it. I do have indexing enabled. Um, and there are a lot of media players, pretty much all media players, once again, will stream music no problem um uh, a player like uh, xbmc will automatically grab information from an index like this uh and just start playing it um some other players you might need to uh create a playlist so that's what i've done let me uh go here to my terminal screen if i cat out i have a uh file called uh, music dot m3u it's just a text file with a list to of the mp3s uh, which i generated from the index we were just looking at so at this point i can do is something as simple as using m player i can do dash playlist if i spell stuff right and point it at that file and if i hit enter here it will start streaming the audio i'm not going to let it uh, play here really because i don't want Google to get, or uh, YouTube to get upset about copyrighted music. But as you can see, I can skip to different songs. I can jump ahead in songs. And, um, you know, you can see right here what songs I'm playing. And, of course, I can get all the way to the end of my playlist. Um, and, of course, that's that's using uh, mplayer from the command line, which there are GUI interfaces for mplayer. Um, but here is a uh, movie player that uh, Totem is the movie player and uh, I can just go open point it at that uh, once again that text file that's just a list of uh, the files from the server 
click add and you can see that not only it brings up the art it also doesn't just show the uh, file names it actually will uh, if the files have the song names and tracks they will display that here and we can skip through jump ahead um, we could also do the same thing with videos um, so it's flickering a little bit it's trying to display the art and <laughs> my uh, uh, little animation here at the same time not sure why it's doing that but it's playing the audio just fine and then here's another example just to show here's VLC on the client and in this case I can go uh, open file point it to that text file once again it's our player um, VLC does uh, not seem to convert the song titles. It just shows you the complete URL, but the songs still play. I can jump ahead. I can stop. I can pause. Um, so not the only option. If you need to, you can stream audio with VLC as a server, but uh, I think that um, doing this way is a little bit simpler uh, and, and uh, it's easier to jump around songs where when you're streaming uh, I guess VLC, as he was saying, has some sort of remote control to control the server. Um, but this way, different people can be listening to different songs if more than one person wanted to. Whereas if you're streaming using VLC, everyone's listening to the same thing, which may be what you want. But talking to him, it sounded more like he wanted to uh, just listen to his playlist and have controls to be able to skip songs and jump ahead in songs. And that's exactly what we're doing here, just with a simple... Um, uh, web server Apache in this case and I just threw all the songs into a playlist and pointed at it. once again you don't even need a playlist with some players like XBMC if you just point it at this address it will uh, see the list of songs and you can click play and put them in a playlist there and put them in random order or whatever you want to do so real simple so I thought I'd show that today Woodsy I hope this helps you out because you did seem a little confused on what we were talking about you thought that if we threw it on a web server like this, you had to uh, download the song to play it, and uh, you wouldn't be able to stream and jump ahead in songs. So um, that's it. A uh, quick little tutorial there. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please visit my IRC channel. Go to my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Click on social networking. There's a link to the IRC. We are on Freenode. It's Pound Films by Chris. Um, also, feel free to comment below if you have comments, questions. Um, I would not recommend putting them in the comments, but people still will. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.